with AP. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do this. Um, can you the threat from ISIS is extremely real. We've been talking about this for several days. We saw it actually manifest itself here just in the last few hours with, a, with an actual attack. We believe it is their desire to continue those attacks, and we expect those attacks to continue. And we're doing everything we can to be prepared for those attacks. That includes reaching out to the Taliban, who are actually providing the outer security cordon around the airfield, to make sure they know what we expect them to do to protect us. And we will continue to coordinate with them as, as they go forward. We are continuing to bring people onto the airfield. We just brought a number of buses of, uh, uh, aboard the airfield over the last couple of three hours. So we continue to process. We'll continue to flow people out. The plan is designed to operate while under stress and under attack, and we will continue to do that. We will coordinate very carefully to make sure that it's safe for American citizens to come to the airfield. If it's not, we'll tell them to hold, and then we'll, you know, we'll work other ways to try to get them to the airfield. But I think our mission remains. We're still committed uh, to flowing people out up until we terminate operations at some point you know, towards the end of the month. And But I think we have the ability uh, actually to do all of those things as we go forward, going after ISIS. Yes, if we can find who's associated with this, we will go after them. We've been clear all along that we're going to retain the right to operate against ISIS in Afghanistan. And we are working very hard right now to determine attribution, to determine who is associated with this cowardly attack. And we're prepared to take action against them. 24-7, we are looking for them. I know this, he did not get inside, the, he did not get on the installation. It was at the interface point where they try to come in where this attack occurred. And we just don't know more right now. We're gathering that information. As you will understand, we're, we're investigating that. But right now, our focus really, we have other active threat streams, extremely active threat streams against the airfield. We want to make sure that we've taken the steps we need to take to protect ourselves there. So our focus is on that. Over the next few hours and a day or two, we'll learn a lot more about what happened here. And I'm sure we'll be able to share that with you. Right now, our focus is actually going forward, ensuring that another attack of this nature does not occur, because as you know, typically the pattern is multiple attacks, and we want to be prepared and be ready to defend against that.